1 Corinthians 9, to be a Christian means that we have to make decisions almost every minute, which are influenced by our commitment to the Lord Jesus. Because in one sense, life is a, is a stream of choices on a micro level, or what you say, what you think, what you do, and at times on a larger level, what job you take, where you choose to live, what you choose to spend our money on. All these choices are to be influenced by the Lord Jesus. But Christianity is not like some religions where there are simple commands which must be obeyed. In reality, there are often ranges of choices, levels of response to our understanding of the Lord Jesus. Here in 1 Corinthians 9, we see several examples of those different choices. Paul says that he could ask for payment for his missionary work, and he could legitimately get married. He says, have we no right to eat and to drink? Have we no right to lead a wife that is a believer, even as the rest of the apostles and the brothers of the Lord and Cephas, Peter? Or are Barnabas and I the only ones who have a right not to have to work for a living? The Lord ordained that they that proclaim the gospel should live from the gospel. But I have used none of these things, and I do not write these things so that it may be done in my case. So it's not always a simple choice. It's not that if you do a specific ritual, then you're right with God, and if you don't, then you sinned. No, we are in relationship with Jesus. Jesus is real. He is an actual person in heaven. And we here on earth have a connection and personal relationship with him. And relationship involves us in choices. As you look at your own life, as you think about all the choices you have, you'll see what I mean. It was no sin for Paul if he had asked for money for his work, and it was no sin for him to get married. But he chose not to do that. This is how our mind is exercised. Shall I give money to that needy person or cause? No sin if you don't. No sin if you give 20 euros when you could comfortably give 100. We need to see beyond reducing everything to a simple scenario where everything is only black or white, sin or righteousness. Relationship isn't like that. To be a Christian is to love Jesus. To want to please him, to seek to understand his will, to want to follow him to the maximum. Seeing his death for us there on the cross, imagining how it was, we cannot be minimalists. Realising that I, a sinner, really will live forever. That all my sins really are forgiven by grace. We can't be minimalists in the light of this. No, from grateful hearts. We want to make the maximum response. And it's so it's to enable us to do this, I think, in a in a, a conscious way that we give them these different possible levels of response.